What's up guys, it's Hitch here, and today we are sniping on Standoff CTF. Uh, if this is your first time ever coming to the channel, basically I snipe in a competitive setting. Uh, that's how all my gameplay is. And I'm sorry that I pulled this from theater. My uh, PVR crashed in the middle of recording this gameplay. And uh, yeah, I still use PVR. Some of you youngsters might not even know what that is. It's like dinosaur age YouTube we have going on here. Um, you know, but we make it work and we're going to have fun with it. So today I want to talk about rap. And I know the uh, title was called Rap 101 or whatnot. Um, but I don't want people to think I'm like cocky and think I know a lot about rap because I really don't. Um, but what I do know is that it's, un, it, you know, it's underappreciated to the general public. Uh, there's a lot about rap that is so incredibly deep um, that, you know, like people won't understand, um, if, if you're not aware of it. And, um, the second that I was aware of how rap, you know, works, um, I immediately became addicted and, um, you know, I still am to this day. So basically what impresses me the most about rap is the way that people can use wordplay and tie it together, you know, to different meanings and, and, um, you know, and, and really tell a story at the same time using such skill in your wordplay to do it <clears throat> like <clears throat> sorry guys um so you know when when you first learn about rapping uh it's, it's basically like uh, like when you're joking around in like middle school or elementary school and you say you're gonna rap you're rhyming like hat with cat uh and things like that <laughs> and things like that um but um but as you, you know, as you really start to hear uh, or, or acknowledge what, what uh, lyricists do, they, they take the, the art of rhyming and they, they like freaking go crazy with it. Um, it's insane. So uh, there's something called multi-syllable rhyming, which is what I wanted to talk about today. And that is, that is basically the, uh, not the backbone of, of hip hop, but that's, that's what impresses me the most. That's what I always listen for. And that's what, you know, gets me hype. And that's what makes me react to different people's music is, is how you can tie so many different words together and, um, you know, make them all rhyme. And, uh, that doesn't mean rhyming hat, cat, and, you know, sat and all these things. Look at this clip right here, by the way, bam, four piece flag return. Pretty sick. Um, yeah, it doesn't mean you're rhyming all of those, you know, same syllables together really fast. Uh, it means you're, you're rhyming a whole, whole bunch of different words together. So say like, say um, someone gave you the, the, you know, the two words like homeland or uh, something like that. Technically, homeland rhymes with band or, you know, or sand. Um, but, you know, how, how uh, lyricists have, how a lyricist would look at Homeland, they would immediately try to flip it and, and to make it, you know, um, uh, to make as, as much rhythm go into it as possible and as much wordplay. So Homeland would immediately, you know, rhyme with phone plan, and grown man, and then you're trying to ra uh, rhyme all of those things together. And then if, if home, Homeland is at the end of your, um, your bar, then within the bar, you want to rhyme two other completely different words, um, you know, if possible. So, uh, uh, so like I'll I'll take your ass back to the homeland, and um, you'll have to cash out for your phone plan. Like cash and half and all those things, they rhyme within themselves. And then at the end, you also rhyme two other words together within themselves as well so this is just super basic like just trying to get you guys to to realize you know just just a little bit about uh what wordplay is and, and things like that because you know i i had no idea that it was it was like that i i just assumed it was it was cat and hat and and <laughs> and things like that <laughs> when uh you know when i when i first started listening to rap but but now um you know uh i wanted to link you guys a video um in the in the description there's a, a video where someone breaks down just the first like 16 bars of lose yourself by Eminem and um, and I, in my opinion Eminem is the you know the, the greatest lyricist of all time and um, <clears throat> and it, it, it's just mind-blowing because because lose yourself is such a 
you know, it's a mainstream song for a while. Uh, it was in a movie, and it and it was, uh, you know, just just basically everyone had heard it. But but uh, even I had not, you know, broken uh, broken down how how insane, you know, the uh, the rhyme scheme is. Look at this guy right here. He gets completely turned on. The, like I I had I I go back at the end of this and I look at that play from the other guy's perspective and we're going to watch that together in just a little bit <laughs> um but yeah i really i really want you guys to to listen to that video or, or watch the video and then um you know just whenever you hear rap just any kind of rap just listen like really listen for the multi-syllables um and and how impressive people can be with it uh it, it's it's awesome i i love rap and you know i'm um i i'm excited to to keep learning more about it all right so this is the guy right here uh this guy was on the other team and um he kills me after i return the flag and then he completely world stars the next guy like what that is crazy oh my gosh shout outs to to whoever this guy is freaking amazing um so yeah guys i know that was kind of a weird uh commentary but um uh, if you guys want to know more about, you know, uh, I guess there's there's so much more uh, in depth to rap. And if you guys want to know more, then I guess I could try to talk to it as a fellow uh, white boy gamer. <laughs> All right, guys. I hope you guys are doing well. And um, we'll see you next time. All right. Peace.